Now guys, we are going to be doing some ratios this week, so the most amazing, super easy way to understand ratios. Um, so I'm going to do a question, I'm going to talk you through it, show you how to do it, and then you are going to have a go at a question. So when I ask you to, just pause the video, have a go at that question, and then there'll be some worksheets and some work to do throughout the week um, linked below. Uh, so the link will be there and that will be ready to go. So, um, any questions, please put them in the chat and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So if we start off with, we can see here, it says, Dave works in a cafe. He sells burgers and hot dogs. He sells five burgers for every two hot dogs. So we're looking at part to part. So for every five burgers he sells, he sells two hot dogs. So we can see five burgers, five, two hot dogs, two. Yesterday he sold 15 burgers. How many hot dogs did he sell? So what I then need to do is I need to work out if he sold 15 burgers, what do I need to do the five to make it 15? So I'm going to be multiplying with this one. And if he's then sold the, the hot dogs, I need to figure out whatever I do to this side, I'm going to do to this side. So if he sold 15 burgers, he sold six hot dogs. Now, how does that work? Well, it works by doing my times tables. So if he sold five burgers, that's two hot dogs. So five, 10, 15, two, four, six. So five burgers, 10 burgers, 15 burgers, two hot dogs, four hot dogs, six hot dogs. So a similar question now. Sandra likes to play lots of different music. For every four pop songs she plays, she plays three rock songs. Yesterday she played 20 pop songs. How many rock songs did she play? So we're looking at the ratio here, four pop songs, two, three rock songs. So what do I need to do to four? To make it 20 and then whatever I do to the 4 whatever I've multiplied that by I do to the 3 so pause here and have a go at that question okay so let's have a look at the answer and the answer is 20 so she played 20 pop songs it's that's there so what have I done I've times it I've used my times tables so it goes 4 8 12 16 20 so I've times it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I do the same here, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So you can see it goes up and down in terms of my times tables. It's not always the same, so if we look at this one here, it says my mum loves to garden, but she's really bad at it. For every three seeds she plants, only one grows into a plant. So she is really bad. Every three seeds she puts in, only one grows into a plant. So if 15 plants grew, how many seeds did she plant? So if I've got three, the ratio is three to one for every three seeds. So I need to now make this one, 15. So I times the one by 15. One times 15 is obviously 15. And then I need, then need to time the three, times three by 15. So three times 15 is 45. So she plants 45 seeds to get 15 plants to grow because every three seeds, only one grows, three to one. So, have a go at this one. Nathan pl plays football every weekend. He is trying to improve his strike rate. For every five shots he has on goal, two go in. If he scores 12 goals, how many shots did he attempt? So think, what do I need to do to two to make it 12? And then you do the same to the five. So whatever I multiply the two by to get it to 12, you can do the same here. Have a go at that now. Okay, so you should have paused it. So to get to 12, I do 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So I times it by 6. I times 5 by 6. So 2 times 6 equals 12. There's my 2. There's my 2. 5 times 6 equals 30. There's my 5. There's my 5. So I've then got 30, 30 to 12 to 12. So you should have paused that. You should have had a go at that one. Now this is a relatively easy one. These are quite easy, these ones. Year six are going on a trip and the school will provide the lunch. Here is what is on the menu. Three sandwiches, two cookies and a packet of crisps. I'd imagine you'd be pretty full for that after that one, but there we go. There are 28 children going on the trip. How many cookies will they pack? So there are 28 children and they get two cookies each. It's a really simple sum. 28 times two equals 56. This is a very simple uh, ratio question. So have a go at this one here. A teacher is preparing for a class party. Each child will get the following. Four mini donuts, three sausage rolls, and two fruit kebabs. If there are 32 children going, how many sausage rolls will need to be bought? 32 children, 
they each get three sausage rolls, pause the video, work out what the maths is. Okay, so you should have had a go at that, and the answer is 32, because there are 32 children, times three, that's 96 sausage rolls. That is a lot of sausage rolls. So, next up, we have got uh, two numbers that are the ratio three, four. So, if one of the numbers is 48, what could the other possible number be? Now, what you need to do here is I need to see three times something equals 48, Whatever I times the 3 by, I then need to times the 4 by. So that gives me my first set of two numbers, 48, so here, and then I've times that by the 4 by the same number, that gives me my 64. And then my 36, so I do 4 times something equals 48, and then I times the 3 by the same. So what we've got here is 3 times something equals 48, well, we know that's 16. 3 times 16 equals 48. So then I need to do 4 times 16, which gives me 64. This one here, and I know this sounds a bit complicated, but you're literally just doing the same sum two ways round, because now I'm doing 4 times something equals 48, which is 12. So then I just times a 3. So my two numbers could be 48 and 64, and 36 and 48. Remember, one of the numbers is 48. So if you're not sure, have a go at practicing, or you can even then divide. So 48 divided by 4, whatever that turns out to, I then multiply that by 3. So have a go at this one here. Two numbers of the ratio 4 to 5. One of the numbers is 60, so 60 needs to appear here, and 60 needs to appear here. What do I need to times 4 by to get to 60? And then I times it by the 5. That will give me my two numbers here. What do I need to times 5 by to get to 60? And then I times it by the 4. That will give me my two numbers here. So have a go, see what you think. Okay, so my numbers were 60 to 75, so that's basically me saying 60 divided by 4 equals 15, so 60 divided by 4 equals 15, 15 times 5, which is my other number, gets to 75, and then this one here, 60 divided by 5 is 12, then 12 times 4 equals 48, so I've got my 60, it's always going to be 60, because one of them needs to be 60, 60 and 75, that means 5 is the bigger number there, and then 48 and 60, which means we're using the 5 this time. So you see the 5 there. If you're not sure, go back over the two questions, have another look, it should become quite clear. So these ones, these are the ones that always get you. Three pencil sharpeners are the same length as two rubbers. So one, two, three, one, two. How many pencil sharpeners will have the same length as 50 rubbers? So what I now need to do is, if I know how many, so three pencil sharpeners, there's three there, what do I need to do to make two into 50? Well, I need to times it by 25. Two times 25 makes 50. So now I need to do the same, three times 25. So two times something equals 50, well, that's 25. So three times something equals something, so that makes basically three times 25 equals 75. So basically what I'm saying is if I had 50 rubbers, so there are two rubbers, 2 times 25 makes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 50. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, all going all along. But for every 2, I need 3. So 2 would be the same as 3, 4 would be the same as 6, and I go all the way up till I get to 50 and 75. And you can see the relationship, 3 and 2, 50 and 75, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2. 25, um, 25 then goes to uh, 50, then goes to 75. So I'm just using my 25, 50, 75 times tables. Okay, so have a go at this one. It's very similar. Two bananas are the same length as three oranges. How many oranges will be the same length as 60 bananas? So I know that if I've got, what do I need to times two by to get to 60? And then whatever I times that by, I then times it by three, and that will get me there. So have a go at this one. Okay, so we should have found 2 times 30 equals 60, obviously. So then 3 times 30 equals 90. So again, this one's relatively easy because actually we're looking at 30, we're looking at 60 and 90. If we do that, we can go 2, 4, 6, or 20, 40, 60, 3, 6, 9, 30, 60, 90. So 60 to 90. 2, 4, 60. 3, 
6, 90. So we're just adding a zero onto the end here. So it'd be 60 to 90. Very good. Now these ones are quite easy. With this one, you are going to be looking at the ratio and then you are literally going to be simplifying the fraction. So if I look at this one here, in the pattern A, the ratio of black squares to grey is 1 to 2. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is 3 to 6, which we know is 1 to 2. What is the ratio on the pattern of squares here? So we go 1, 2, 3, 4 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 4 to 12. Now, how many 4s are in 12? 3. So we know that 4 to 12 is going to be 1 to 3. For every 1 black square, there are 2 grey squares. 1 black square, 2 grey squares. 1 black square, 2 grey squares. 1 black square, sorry, 3 grey squares. This one here is for every 1, there's 2, 1, there's 2, 1, there's 2. This one here is 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3. So we know it's 4 to 12. And all I'm doing is counting squares. 4 black squares, 12 grey squares, which equivalent is 1 to 3. So have a go at this one here. Pattern A, the ratio of black squares to white squares is 1 to 2. You can see that. Actually, it's not 1 to 2. It's 1 to 1. So I'm wrong there, so 1 to 1, that one would be. But this one, what can you work out? So how many black squares are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 6 there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 6 to 10. So all you've got to do is simplify that. Give it a go. And there we go. 6 to 10 changes to 3 to 5. And the ratio is for every 3 black squares there are five white squares ignore that one that was me being silly I don't understand why I did that so coming up on the last couple these are the ones you're gonna see and you're probably gonna hate here is a recipe for pasta sauce Josh makes the pasta sauce using 900 grams of tomatoes what weight of onion should he use so whatever I do to one thing I do to the other so if we have a look here 300 grams of tomatoes and I need 120 grams of onions right so if I'm using 900 grams, again, 300 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 30 times 3 is 90. 300 times 3 is 900. So whatever I do to one side, I need to do to the other. So three times 300 times 3 is 900. So I then need to do the same, times it by 3. Because I want three lots. I want three lots of sauce that I'm going to be making. So instead of 120, we go to 240. We go to 360. So 300 times 3 equals 900, so I need to do the same. Whatever I do to the tomatoes, times it by 3. I need to do to the onions, times it by 3. So, have a go at this one. Here is a cake recipe. I use 8 large eggs. How much butter do I need? So, what do I need to do to 2 to times it to make it 8? And then I times it by the same, not the 2. So 2 times something, and then 225 grams times something. It's the same something that I'm timesing it by. Have a go at that one. Okay, so 2 times something equals 8. So 225 times something equals something. So 2 times 4 equals 8. So that's 8 eggs. So 225 times 4 equals 900 grams of butter. So because I've had to times the 2 by 4, 2 times 4 is 8, I do the 225 times 4 and that gets me 900. So I could go 2, 4, 6, 8, so 800, then 25 times 4 is 100, 800 plus 100, 900 grams of butter. This is what you're going to be doing this week, so if you need to come back to this video, please do so. Uh, please make sure that you um, have a go at all the questions. There will be different questions for different days, and on Friday um, you'll have a chance of having a go at some of the Mathematica questions there's an area on there on ratio and proportion we focused on ratio today because I don't want you to get confused but we will have a look at proportion later on in the in the half term I hope you guys are safe I hope you're keeping well and I will see you all soon